Hey again everyone, Tim with Tim'sComputerFix.net. This screencast I uploaded here is just all about hiding folders in Windows 10. Different ways of hiding folders in Windows 10. Now why would you want to hide folders in Windows 10? Well, could be several different reasons why. You may have items in your folder that you don't want other people to see, such as banking details or anything personal like that. Honestly, just hiding the folder is not really the most securest way of keeping that folder out of any prying eyes. Actually encrypting that folder would be the best way of keeping people out of that said folder. But this is just an interesting video that I want to show you on a few different ways to hide folders in Windows, specifically Windows 8, Windows 10, pretty much the same way. Now, some of these ways you already know, but by the end of this video, I'm going to show you one way that I think a lot of people don't know. So, you know, Windows hides folders by default. We'll go down to File Explorer here. And let's just, for instance, go to our local disk C. And as you can see, there is one folder here, Program Data, that is kind of grayed out a little bit. So if we go to the View tab up here, you will notice that Hidden Items is checked. If I uncheck that box, that hidden folder goes away. And that is how Windows hides folders that it doesn't think that would be important to you that you don't need to see that wouldn't be of any use to you. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and keep showing hidden files and folders. And let's take this a step further. We'll show you another way that Windows hides its folders here. Let's go ahead into the Windows folder. And inside here is all your system files and folders, which Windows hides by default. And we can change that by going to View, Options, Change Folder in Search Options. And then we can scroll down. Nope, go to View. And then we can scroll down. And there's the checkboxes checked for high protected operating system. So if you uncheck that and hit yes, and hit, then hit apply, hit OK. Now you'll see that this BitLocker folder came up and a couple of others. So that's another way that Windows hides and tries to protect its operating system folders, its critical folders that it doesn't want anybody going in and tampering with. So, so these are some pretty common ways that a lot of people know about of how Windows hides its folders. So we're going to go ahead and put that checkbox back into high protected operating system, which by default that's usually set there anyway. And we're going to close this off. So now let's take a look about how we can take an existing folder that's visible, that it isn't marked as hidden file or folder, and make it a hidden folder. So we'll just create a new folder here. We'll just name this secret. We want to right click on our folder and select properties. And in properties, you'll see a box down that says hidden. You can select that, click Apply, click OK, and now you can see that it's grayed out. And it's grayed out because we have hidden files or hidden items checked as visible. We can uncheck that and that folder now goes away. Yes, that is one way you can hide any folder you want to, or any file for that matter, and it'll be hidden. 
But what if you say, hey, this person who I'm trying to hide this file from or prank or whatever you're trying to do is smart enough to know to go to this view tab and hit that hidden items box. Well, let's try something else, shall we? Let's go ahead and bring that back. So that brings our transparent folder back because it is marked as a hidden item. Let's go ahead and right click on that and let's take that hidden checkbox out and now we have restored it to normal. So here's another way. So let's just say, hey, I want to I want to hide that even more. Let's let's make this be a critical system file. So we'll just hit Windows and R. That'll bring up our run box. We'll just type in CMD as it shows here. Hit OK. And now we have our command prompt. And in this command prompt, basically, you want to use the attribute command. And then you want to specify two triggers. So basically, you want to type this space and you want to use the trigger plus S space plus H space and then in quotation marks you want the exact path of the file you want the system to hide which in this case is on our desktop so we'll do C colon forward slash users forward slash test because test is the name of my user account that I'm using here on this virtual machine forward slash desktop forward slash secret and end your quotations and if you press enter so now you see that it kind of shows up as uh, gray or transparent from this point what we want to do is open back up our file explorer go into view option change folder option view and go back into our high protected operating system files. Let's uncheck that and hit yes at this prompt. Hit apply. And now let's put the checkbox back into there. Hit apply. Hit OK. And now you can see it's gone. So that will stay that way. Uh, and now even if we go to view and uncheck this hidden files and folders and check it back as you can see here it's gone the only way to retrieve that folder is to reverse the commands or the triggers in command prompt so let's do that now we'll just go backwards a t t r i b space minus s space minus h and then the path of course press enter okay and now this folder has come back perfectly visible and it is set now as a normal folder so those are just a couple of interesting ways right there to hide folders still though there is another way that you may not have known about. This is kind of a little bit of a, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit more of an interesting way of doing this. And, uh, you know, it would it would really, uh, you know, be a good way to prank somebody. Or it is a way, if you want to, if you feel safe about it, hiding this from somebody, if you feel that they won't find it, or just to have fun with it. Here's another way. Let's rename this folder first. And we're going to, this is a good way that you could even, 
uh, hide the title of any folder. Okay, so you just kind of click on it once, kind of click on it again, and then this is ready for you to enter or change the name. Now we're going to use your keypad on your keyboard, not the numbers up top. You got to have a keypad to do this. And what you want to do, you want to hold down your Alt key and press 255 on your keypad. So I just did that there. And once I click away from it, the title of the folder is now gone. This is using ASC2 character codes is why I said to type that in on your numeric keypad. So now that we took care of the title of this folder, let's go ahead and take care of the folder itself. We want to right click on the folder, select properties, and go to customize. And in customize you want to change icons. Now in here is a whole nice list of different icons that you can change your folder to. But what we are going to look for in here is the invisible icon. And that is, let's try to go with this one. Click OK. Click Apply. And now the folder has disappeared. Now, keep in mind that you can still locate this file either through searching with your file explorer it will still be there desktop it is hidden however without the title but of course properties would kind of let you know how big it is and what's inside of it so but anyways but look at how that is just an doesn't even show up on your desktop or any place else for that matter. This is not only just for your desktop. This could be any anywhere on your computer. But and you can move this around. You can move the folder to wherever you like. You can kind of hide it maybe down by your clock and then just let it sit there where you know nobody may, be, may click on or you can move it up into a crowded area on your desktop background or whatever, wherever you don't think somebody might click just as a joke or know, maybe if you really don't think somebody's that savvy enough to find that folder, you can do it this way. I just thought that was a very interesting way to hide a folder. Anyways, we can reverse all that very simply by going in, right clicking obviously, hit customize, change icon, hit our folder icon again and hit apply and now that is back and then okay and then of course to get the name back you just right click on the folder and hit rename and you can put the name back just like that how fun is that hey hope this helps somebody out have a great YouTube day